Rhett, there is a method to his madness. He has looked inside his crystal ball before and saw the future, and we just saw your top yeah. ten there. Let's talk about how it affect, affects free agency. You have a bombshell with the Redskins trading Kirk Cousins for the number two overall pick. Hey, you want to have something to talk about, right? It's <laughs> a mock draft. You can just do anything you want here. But taking our man Ian Rappaport and, and his report, okay, which I talked to him privately about, about the possibility of Washington sending Cousins to San Francisco for the second pick. Now, I don't know what it's going to be for, but I put it in there for the second pick because you at least have to have that. Mm -hmm. San Francisco needs a quarterback. Kyle Shanahan was around when they drafted him. So they un he understands how good he's going to be right there. The other thing is we know Jay Gruden has expressed publicly he likes Colt McCoy as his quarterback. Now, does he like him for 16 games? Does he like him for 32 games? Well, he might find out. But to have some fun, we put it there. So the Redskins, all of a sudden, what they do, they get to rebuild the defensive line, starting with Jonathan Allen of the Alabama. Now, Allen has been likened by some people to Mike McCoy, the, the Pro Bowl defensive tackle mm -hmm. from the uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Buccaneers. A quick guy. He's an upfield player. He's an excellent rusher inside. I think he can play the 34 defensive end and do very good. All right, uh, let's talk the number three overall pick with the Bears. I see you have Marshawn Lattimore from Ohio State. They take him and not a quarterback? They need a quarterback, right? Well, here's two things you're looking at here, Amber. First of all, there's no quarterback worth taking to me in this top ten. If you take him, you're projecting. You're reaching on it to do it. And, and that's what maybe you want to be Blake Boyles and take Blake Boyles. I get that philosophy. He's not going to be there in the second round, so we'll take him now. I'm just thinking they're going to solve that problem in free agency. A lot of noise about them and Mike Lemon. When you hear this much noise about a player and a team this early on the eve of free agency, most of the time it's true. Again, Ian is talking about it, too. When Ian talks about it, write it down. It's worth writing down because it usually happens there. So what do you do? You got your quarterback now. Now you can go and get a defensive player, Marshawn Lattimore. You need help in the secondary. You get an instant starter at corner. All right, at number 14, you Again, have... there isn't a quarterback to take here. So if so they don't, don't get Glennon, I don't think they'll do it. All right. Uh, doesn't make sense to stretch that much. At, at number 14, though, you have a trade. You say the Eagles will trade that pick to the Saints for Brandon Cooks. Well, we, we know Cooks is on the market. We've got, yeah. we've got that part down. Now, during the draft when Cooks came out, the Eagles were talking about the possibility of doing it, but, but it didn't get done. Why it didn't get done is immaterial right now. Let's take Carson Wentz. Who's your deep threat? You don't have one. Here you give up a first-round pick. The guy signed for a couple of years, and he is a proven player in the NFL. He's not a guy coming out of college like John Ross of Washington, who you hope can do it. This guy has done it. He may I don't say he's totally a one-dimensional player, Amber. He is a deep threat. He's not a guy that's going to come across the middle. But that's the thing you miss in that offense. They got guys that come across the middle. They got nobody who can stretch the defense. And, and it's Wentz now. He can throw the deep ball. So yeah. we got to get we got to get a Cooks that. or a Ross or somebody in this draft. No question about it. All right. Finally, let's slide down to number twenty overall. You have the Broncos taking O.J. Howard. Uh, why not an offensive lineman to help whoever is playing quarterback? Well, I'll tell you, in, in, in mock draft one, we gave him an offensive lineman. However, now on the eve of free agency, just as as we're reporting here, that they have an idea there to go get the offensive line solved now. Mm -hmm. You solve the offensive line now. You've got some wide receivers. You've got to have a tight end. They're dying for a tight end. It really hurt their offense since they lost Noah Daniels when they won the Super Bowl. O.J. Howard, to me, is a perfect match. This guy can run deep. He can catch the ball. And he does give you some blocking, which Owen did coming out of college. And then Owen got better as a blocker, too, because we had drafted him in Houston. So I think this is a way you solve your offense. And whether you bring Romo in or not, that's icing on the cake. You, got, you can block now, and you've got a tight end. All right. you, the offensive line is not strong, and you can only get one in that first round anyway in this year's draft. You go for offensive line and free agency then? If you're the Absolutely. Broncos? That's the plan. You think it's deep in that position? Absolutely. I yeah. think that is the, uh, the agreed determination.